Walk it in motion. Walker the carry. Room to the edge. Got a block. And Walker out of bounds at the Rams 42. Rush East chased him out after a 13-yard gain. Well, watch this on the side. Point has to stop that. He has to set that edge. He went too far inside on the tight end on the inside release. He's this many guys under 25 years old. And as we speak of second-year players, one of them carries the football and gets some room to the edge. A stiff arm thrown by Walker as he goes out of bounds at the Rams 29. Now watch this. Everything's going to get all wadded up in front, and he's just going to bounce it all the way outside. It's a duo-type play, double teams across the board, and he was so patient at the point of attack right there in the middle of the field and then hits his L2 button, gets outside the defense once again. In a very raucous Ford field, as EA said. Wow, it's loud. About to find out what they do. Here's Kenneth Walker looking for a seam. And a nice move for Walker, who breaks the tackle and has got a first down and more. That's a heck of a run to start it off for Seattle. Aleem McNeil also out of the game. So Detroit a little banged up on this opening drive. Second and goal here. Walker walks in for the touchdown. What a drive for Seattle right down the field in an opening statement here in Detroit. Watch the job here on the left side, just distorting the defense. Man, 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 and Kenneth Walker's not touched till he's three yards in the... Now, can they finish this drive in the red zone with six? Try to do it with a run game with Walker. Dancing outside, and he's in for the touchdown. Second of the day for Kenneth Walker and an extra point away from tying this game up. You talk about avoiding the sudden change turnover. Seattle takes over deep in the Lions' side, and Kenneth Walker is able to pay it off with the goal line run. We got ourselves an all-square ball game here early in the second half. Colby Parkinson, 87, no offense. Working quickly here, zigzag move by Walker. Look out, Kenneth Walker! Brought down just short of the 15. Quarterback, watch Geno Smith get outside, but he doesn't throw a block. He just sets a screen. Ooh, look at that right there, just like basketball. And Ken Walker off to the races and creates a big play, 36 yards downfield. 11 yards and a first down now at the 46 of Carolina. Play action. Dump off for Walker. Shakes one man. Flag down. Walker still going. And Kenneth Walker remains upright and gets a reaction from this crowd. Carolina pointing in Seattle's direction. This didn't get him some bigger uh, plays. But if he can't get it that way, he gets it receiving the ball. Big spin, and he made Jeremy Chin one of their more sure tacklers. Number 21, missing the open field. He tried and to trip him up at the ankle. And Ken Walker stepped through it. He was already covered, and Walker ran right by him. 36 yards to K-9. Flagged out. Smith on the move and just flips it out of bounds. Brian Burns giving chase. Backpedaling grab and the way this play developed for Walker. And Ken, and Ken Walker benefited because Dante Jackson was peeking into the backfield and he saw the tight end crossing into his areas short. Trying to extend the lead. Handoff. Walker. He's in. Touchdown. Seahawks. And even on the goal line, enough patience to sift his way through. One extra count in the backfield by number nine to make sure. And then once he sees it, he's decisive and finds the goal line. Troy Hill, Derek Brown trying to stop him. There is an injury for Seattle. It's Anthony Bradford along that offensive line. Rookie fourth round pick. Smith on a handoff. Walker, nobody there. Walker takes it in for the score. They handled the edge with a block and they pulled the guard and Walker's right there. They sent some Tyler Lockett inside to block. First and goal, one on one at the top with DK Metcalf. Here is Walker for the touchdown. So those offset, and here is with this makeshift offensive line, enough blocking to get Walker into the end zone. Yeah, you see that? I mean, that's a pretty good push, you know, to get that movement. 
Bobo in motion, toss to Walker, right up the middle. Still going. Bad tackling continues for the Giants. Doesn't want to hear about bad tackling, but we're seeing it again tonight. Well, yeah, you're going to see these guys up front and the double teams and the push. And, I mean, it's really an excellent job. They go three tight ends, and Disley, he he helps on that right edge. But then inside with the double team, they just, they're just pushing people around. They've got a lot more work to do coming out of this one. Here's Walker right through the defense. Tripped up inside the 10. Well, good job here, but you're going to see number 19, Jake Bobo, come in at the top. And he's the guy who, who really cleans it up. Xavier McKinney is the safety. He's the guy who's supposed to fill the hole. But here comes Bobo. Motion man Charbonnet. Interesting setup here. Fake it. Smith loops it. Caught by Walker. Walker the tightrope and a first down. Legion Lee and even last year, people questioned whether or not he could be an effective receiver. He is. They didn't throw it to him much at Wake Forest or Michigan State, but he noted to us, hey, I played a little bit of wide receiver in high school, and I could catch the football, and he takes great pride in it. This is our second game scene. And Geno Smith threw a bullet pass there and said, I'm going to at least get an interference call on this one, and he did. First and goal from the one, handoff. Walker takes it in. Touchdown, Seattle. What an opening statement for the Seahawks. Carroll wants balance, but watch the motion from the receiver and watch the back right there. And the receiver coming in motion, that's Jake Bobo, the rookie out of Duke and UCLA. He ends up becoming the lead blocker for them, but he really didn't need him. Second down and six. Running play. Walker, huge hole. Walker takes on the DB and wins across the 45. Good block from Cross. Take a look here. Watch Charles Cross on this play, number 67 to left tackle. How happy are they to have him back? See him right there, and then he seals off Logan Wilson and Ken and Ken Walker. And him and Gino have a great connection. There's Walker, cuts to the outside. First down and more. Kenneth Walker still going, and finally chased down by Buda Baker. Kenneth Walker is so lethal with his lateral quickness. You see how he was able to get to the corner. He surprised everyone on that Cardinals defense. They did not think he was. Here is Walker with a big hole and a long run being chased by Juan Thornhill. And he's down into the red zone. Go the Seahawks with a big play. When you talk about this defense, the one thing that you'll see when you watch him on film is big big plays, big runs, big pass plays down the field. Last week, a 59-yard touchdown, a 75-yard touchdown. So that's one of the areas when you're aggressive, you can get everybody on one level. And that's exactly what happened. Second and three at the 43-yard line. And a little bit of a crease for Walker. Breaks a tackle and down to the 30-yard line. St. Juiced with the tackle after a 13-yard game. They ran it right behind Jason Peters again. And Parkinson on this right side edge. Oh, look at that. Pull. Excellent job on power. Pacquiao punch. Probably a run. Oh, oh the play fake. And then the check down. Walker, the defender in front of him, stumbled. And that gives Walker space. And now Walker with extra space. Down the sideline. He is gone. Touchdown, Seattle. Receiving touchdown in Seattle this year by a non-wide receiver. And a 64-yard touchdown for Kenneth Walker. Not a fake on first down. Block gets it off to Walker. Has trouble catching it. And it stays on his feet. Looks for some blocks. If he gets through, he's got a room here, and he does. First down and more. Still going out across the 40. What an incredible play by Kenneth Walker. Yeah, this kind of looked like a punt return. When he return when he reversed field, watch him kind of get behind this group of blockers. Seconds. It looked like he was Thank getting you. set up behind a wall. Drew Locke's out there making some business decisions. I get it, but gets a block by Disley, and he's able to get to the edge and make something out of nothing. That was 
was amazing. We can get you on election night. That was impressive. I'm out of breath. <laughs> Here's Walker. Good cutback. Kenneth Walker out across the 30 and a first down for Walker. He's got nearly 13 yards. But he's going to be relied on down the stretch now, too. Here is Walker. First down inside the 30. Come out with that three tight end. We talked about two here, and then they're motioning across. And Damian Lewis, the left guard, he pulls, and he helps lead the way. He gets there on the back, on the linebacker, Nicholas Morrow. Second down and three. Good protection. Walker. He's able to break one tackle and get the first down. Sidney Brown could not bring him down. And it's a strong catch and run of 14 yards for Kenneth Walker. Up on a slant route, and he just didn't want to wait on him to clear the linebacker, and so he comes back. Not a bad decision, but Kenneth Walker, he's able to break the tackle. The, the creativity he has, I think he does a good job helping his offensive line. With all those tight ends back there again. Nice cut back by Walker, still going. Waiting for the blocking to get there. It does. Touchdown, Seahawks. And this play worked to perfection. Yeah, no, Noah Fant, he's more of the receiving threat, but he has really improved as a blocker, and so it's allowed them to get even a little more creep. Walker is able to pick his way for a first down and brought down near midfield. The blocking up front, and it doesn't take much. For Walker, you see, he's able to just knife his way through it. A good job. So in his regular season career, Henry is now seven of nine with four touchdown passes. Here's Walker getting to the edge and turning it upfield. Kenneth Walker with a nice run. And that's exactly what Seattle needed. With his steps, he's always fast, slow, and then fast once he decides where he wants to go. He gets a defender or a defense thinking he's going inside. Walker picked up 10 yards and a Seattle first down, and now with three tight ends on the field, it's Walker into the end zone. Touchdown, Kenneth Walker. Kenny just watched the blocking on the left side allows for Kenneth Walker to just pick the hole. Burst right through it, and as soon as he bursts through it, no one's going to catch him. There's no chance. Because if they're going to want to do well, they got to get this running back going. Let the let the dog, the canine, off the porch. they got to block downfield. And Walker bouncing oh. outside. Defender slips, and Walker with a first down across the 30. Plant in the ground and then go completely rogue and go on his own and go chasing a mailman down the street look at that i mean this thing got saved by buddha baker who comes flying in there number three but once kenneth walker <laughs> noah fan gets beat number 87 gets beat across his face so he's got a plan and he said get ready for Go. kenneth walker he's going to tote the rock so he talked all week about how walker as he reverses his whole oh, again and walker with a phalanx of blockers in front into arizona territory in a first down he ran out of juice a little bit <laughs> Works some conditioning. He's been banged up with some injuries. But you see this when he stops like that. You see that contact balance getting low to the ground and then switching arms with the ball, switching the ball to his left. Well, Laura, I'm sorry. I, I got to call you a bold faced liar here because oh, I know Coach no. Carroll did not say <laughs> get Kenneth Murray going. I said get Kenneth Murray going. And the Meyer with me. And we're down here running with Kenneth Walker. Wow. But can you imagine a Kenneth Murray combination?